Welcome now to our digital worship. I'm so glad you've joined us wherever you are. This is our worship time together. Pastor Juan Carlos is going to preach about church. What is church? What's important about church? What's beautiful about church or not? I mean, that's a common concept, this idea of church, but what is it really about? Let's explore that together and let's worship God. tied forever flowing by the throne of God yes we'll gather at the river the beautiful the beautiful river gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne silver spray we will talk and worship ever all the happy golden day yes we'll gather at the river the beautiful the beautiful river gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. Ere we reach the shining river, lay we every burden down. Grace our spirits will deliver and provide a robe and crown. Yes, we the beautiful river gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God that flows by the throne of God that flows by the throne of God We turn now to Matthew 16, where Peter declares that Jesus is the Messiah. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, well, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Then Jesus said to them, but who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven has. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Peter, you are the rock upon which the church is built. So just for a moment, I want you to try to remember your first memory of church. That first memory. Go back in time and think about that first memory. Now, maybe that first memory for you is warm and fuzzy and beautiful, Maybe you remember going to church with your grandparent or your mom or dad or maybe a neighbor. 
Or maybe you remember uh, laying on the pew and sleeping during services. Or maybe you remember Sunday school, or Sunday school teacher. Or maybe you remember the songs you were singing and, and maybe the stained glass windows or, or, or the architecture. What is that first memory? For most of us, that first memory is somehow related to place. It makes sense. It's related to place and what happens in that place. And that's, that's part of the nature of, of how we understand church, a place we go to on a Sunday morning. But it's so much more than that, isn't it? You know that and I know that. Uh, church for some of us is a place of comfort. Maybe we remember a funeral we went to or, or a place of celebration. Maybe, maybe that wedding that we attended or that baptism. Uh, for some of us, it might be a painful place a place where we were rejected, a place where we were not wanted, a place maybe where we felt shame for the first time or guilt, a place maybe where there was sadness instead of joy, or maybe a place where it was just boredom. You didn't want to be there. It was just boring. Whatever that image is, I hope that in the next few weeks together, we can, we can work through what this looks like for you and also maybe begin to have a new imagination for what church is. So today we begin a sermon series on, on church. Why? What is it? Why should we care? <laughs> and today's scripture specifically, it's a moment that, that, that tells us something about church. And in today, it's Peter who proclaims who this Messiah is, who this Jesus is. And Jesus says, oh, that you're right, Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. It's one of only two places where church is mentioned in all of the Gospels. And, so, and there have been all sorts of you know, theories about what that means for Peter and for the church and for us. But just for this moment, I want to talk about what this looks like. Upon this rock, I will build my church. Upon this rock. Up, uh, upon this rock of, of this human being who is Peter. Uh, that's what some Christians proclaim, right? Uh, Peter is kind of the beginner of this, of this church thing. Uh, or or the, 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 the source of, of strength for, that, for the church. Or, or, the, or the person who, who maybe instituted the thing. That kept it up after Jesus. But also... Peter's confession about who this Jesus is. So, so Jesus, he said, you are the Messiah. You're the anointed one. You're the son of the living God. You, you're the one we've been waiting for all this time. And, and so there, there's something here about church that is deeply connected to the person of Jesus and to the disciples who follow Jesus. So it is connected to the person of Jesus because, because this church from the very beginning has been known as, as the body of people that continue the work of Jesus in the world. Notice, we still don't have buildings, right? We still don't have the place. What we have is a mission, a call that begins with Peter. But there's something else here. I, I do agree that there's something about Peter himself, about a disciple of Jesus. So, so this church is also about a group of people who can claim that they have been called by God to follow, to follow in the way of Jesus, to follow in the way of this Messiah, of this anointed one, to be about the work. The word itself, church, it's, it's a Greek word, ecclesia, and ecclesia means an assembly. Not just an assembly, but, but a congregation. Uh, in the moment that those first hearers heard this word, they knew that their ears were attuned to it. This was the word that, they, that, that we use in the Old Testament for the assembly of the Israelites, right? So, so they knew that this was a continuation of, this, of these ancient people who have been called by God, chosen by God, to be a light to the nations. Oh, oh, so, so church is... It's a gathering of people, an assembly of people who have had an encounter with Jesus. And that encounter has now um, inspired them 
to be the presence of Jesus in the world. So before there was building, before there was Sunday school, before there was singing, before there were sermons and scripture reading, before there were all the trappings of what the thing we call church, right now in this moment in 2024, there was this mission, this call of God for these people in this time. And so that's part of what we have to remember. Part of what we have to remember is that we have to recover. So what is church? Well, we begin here. What is church? Church is this assembly that gathers together so that they are inspired to be about the work of Jesus in the world. And so what is the work of Jesus? Well, the work of Jesus is a work of healing. The work of Jesus is the work of sacrificial love. The work of Jesus is the work of peace in the midst of so much violence. <laughs> oh, the work of Jesus is the work of, of gathering and inclusion. Yes, yeah, the work of Jesus is the work of good news to all that he encounters. And so, so those of us who are the church, this very beginning, this confession of Peter, sets us up for all the other expressions that will come after that one. The question becomes for us on this day, what expression are we leaning on on this very moment? And I'm asking you to, to, to reach out and reclaim just for a moment for yourself what this core is. So you who are watching me in this moment are part of this community called the church. Yeah, in this moment, right now, in, the, in this worship experience, you're being connected to it. Now, now you have to claim that for yourself, but, but you're certainly connected to it in this very moment. And, and, and so now you, you look around and, and the question becomes, okay, have I encountered Jesus? This, this risen Lord that we just proclaimed last week, have I encountered this Jesus? And, and then how am I then being connected to this assembly of others, to this congregation of others that are alike to the nation, to this group of others who too also have had this encounter with Jesus and, and, and are now then we working together to being about the work of Jesus in the world, a, a work of healing, a work of reconciliation, a work of forgiveness, a work of transformation, a work of peacemaking, that uh, that's the work that we then together do. And in our doing, we live into this being, into being this ecclesia, into being this assembly, into being this congregation called for a purpose, to be a light to the nations, called for a purpose, to be a people together working towards healing and reconciliation, to called for a purpose, <laughs> to be a, a community that, that models what it's like to live into the kingdom. Oh, oh, yes, imperfectly. Yes, imperfectly. In the weeks ahead, we're going to talk about some of that imperfection. But, but for now, hold on tight to it and let that inspire you to reclaim something about what it means to be church. In a, in a world that's questioning whether this thing called church matters, reclaim that call. Reclaim that spirit. Reclaim that mission for you, for us, for the life of the world. Thanks be to God. Amen.
people of God, this, this moment, yes, take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it. Let the Spirit guide you and empower you to be the church in the world. Thanks be to God. Amen.